No matter how good you think you have been, you can be better. No matter how wonderful you think your theologies, your ideologies, your cosmologies, they can be full of even more wonder. For there are more things in heaven and earth than have ever been dreamt of. So be open. Therefore, be open. Don't close off the possibility of new truth. Because you have been comfortable with the old one. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. Yet be not quick to judge another, rather seek to avoid judgments. For another person's wrongs were your rights of yestermorn. Another person's mistakes are your own past actions now corrected. Another person's choices and decisions are as hurtful and harmful, as selfish and unforgivable as many of your own have been. It is when you just can't imagine how another person could do such a thing that you have forgotten where you have come from and where both you and the other person are going. And to those of you who think yourselves to be the evil ones, who think yourselves to be unworthy and irredeemable, I tell you this. There is not a one among you who is irredeemable, who is lost forever, nor will there ever be. For you are all in the presence of becoming. You are all moving through the experience of evolution. That is what I am up to through you. So go then and give it. Seek to make everyone whose life you touch feel worthy. Give everyone a sense of their own worthiness as a person. A sense of true wonder of who they are. Give this gift and you will heal the world. You may have at all times whatever experience you wish to design. I tell you this. Many have there been who have been risen from the dead. Many have there been who have come back to life. It's happening every day right now in your hospitals. Nothing in this universe occurs by accident. There is no such thing as a coincidence. Nothing exists separate from you and everything is your own creation. Even your apparent lack of understanding is your own creation. It is literally a figment of your imagination. You imagine you do not have the answer and so you do not. Yet as soon as you can imagine that you do, then you do. So keep on remembering. Act out your knowingness in every moment. Keep acting on what you know rather than what the world of illusion is showing you. Stay with it no matter how deceiving appearances are. This is what all masters have done and do. They judge not by appearances but act according to what they know.